Hello guys, this is Alex coming back to you with another video and today we are looking at the GTX 1080. Let's see what it can do. So, in front of us we have the Founders Edition from NVIDIA and this one is made by Gigabyte. Let's continue with the unpacking. So we have the standard box design from Gigabyte with the all-seeing eagle eye I think. Anyway, Illuminati or not, let's dive right in into the main specs. For the complete and detailed review, please head over to our main website where you will find much more content as well. I will put all the links into the description and on the screen when the written review is done as well. The GTX 1080 incorporates the new generation Pascal architecture superseding the previous Maxwell one. It comes with 8GB of VRAM, clocked at a whopping 10MHz because of the new GDR5X, specially made by Micron. Basically, the X stands for an evolution of the standard GDDR5. So it's faster, more optimized, more power efficient memory and with a higher bandwidth capability. Next up is the new cooler design that Nvidia specially made for the 10 series, hence this new Founders Edition branding, which is just a new fancy name for the reference cooling. It is still a vapor chamber design, but at least it looks cool. It has a very stealthy approach with sharp angles, reminiscent of fighter jets. Finally, a backplate is included. Connectivity wise, we have three 1.3 display ports, one 2.0 HDMI, and a standard TVID connector. The card is on the heavy side because of so much metal was used. The classic GeForce logo still lights up green and next to it we have noticed only one 8-pin power connector because Pascal is a very energy efficient architecture. Thus the GTX 1080 has a TDP of only 180 watts which is really good considering how much performance it promises and how high it can boost by itself. Ok, with specs out of the way, let's see this puppy into action. For our testing rig we will employ an Intel i5-6600K and 16GB of crucial memory clocked at 2400MHz. The rest of the hardware we can see for yourselves in the video and we will do a time-lapse build video as well, but this is for another time. And without any further ado guys, let the testing begin. Thank you. 
So it's time to end this, in my opinion it's one hell of a graphics card, it will conquer any resolution except 4K, because that's Titan X's territory. Nevertheless the GTX 1080 Founders Edition has a very solid build, a lot of horsepower out of the box, just keep it cool so the GPU Boost 3.0 does its magic. And don't be afraid to overclock it yourself because they are built just for that. On the other side they are expensive and you have to decide between noise commodity with high temps or keeping it cool but with the matching jet fighter looks with the extra sound. There you have it guys, thank you very much for watching, please subscribe because we have so much more content to share with you. Until next time, catch you on the flip side.